when I was a sophomore in high school at McAllister, I was listening to the Lucky Strike Hit Parade every Saturday night. Lucky Strike Hit Parade played the 10 top songs in America. Number 10, number nine, they would announce them. Then the number eight, number seven, number two, number one. I'm sitting there one night reading, and there was a roll of drums. Number one, Oklahoma. And I'm in this sophomore in high school. I said, they're singing about my state. It was during World War II. It was on Broadway. I didn't even know it was a Broadway musical. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. And then 10 years later, I was in the legislature and I had fallen in love with just representing Oklahoma, representing the uh, And we had a state song, but I thought, my gosh, the most popular song in the world is about our state. We ought to have that as our state song. So I introduced the bill uh, 70 years ago this year. We had a man in the legislature. I was one of the, I came two years before. I was the youngest member of the legislature. In fact, I was a senior in college when I filed for office. So I still the kid, and we had a gentleman there from Ada, a nice guy, but we called him Old Man Huff, Old Man Huff. He probably was 60, but at that time he was old to us. And he couldn't believe, as much as he loved Oklahoma, that we wanted to change the state song from a song written about the steeped in tradition and couched in history, we want to name, put it written by two guys who live in New York, never even been to Oklahoma. The bill almost was, was going to lose that day. So I realized that if we let them vote, they would vote to kill the bill. Because while he was speaking, he walked among the floor and sang the old song, Crying, and having them stand while he sang, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. And I thought, man, that's gone. So I said, Mr. Speaker, I move we lay this bill over for one legislative day until tomorrow. Nobody complained, so they laid it over. I called the rep I got the representative from Chickasha, where we had the uh, girl women's college, and I said, you've got a girl choir down there that can sing Oklahoma. I said, we just did that performance last last week. I said, I want them up here tomorrow in their costumes. And then I called Jenkins Music Store in Oklahoma City and I said, you got, you got any interested in legislation? And they said, yes. I said, well, maybe I can help you with some of it, but I need a piano tomorrow. <clears throat> and then, since I'm here in Tulsa, I called a guy who was living in Tulsa who'd gone to high school at McAllister with my three older brothers, and I was in junior high, Ridge Bond, and he was the only Oklahoman to ever star as Curly on Broadway. And I said, Ridge, you still got any of that stuff you wore on Broadway? He said, yeah. I said, put it on and come down here tomorrow. When I take you out tonight with me, honey, here's the way it's going to be. Will set behind a team of snow white horses in the slickest gig you ever see. All oh, the farmer and the cowman should be friends. All oh, the farmer and the cowman should be friends. One man likes to push a plow, the other likes to chase a cow. That's no reason why they can't be friends. So the girls' choir came and sang, and then suddenly the, the piano went boom, 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 and Ridge had been hiding outside. He kicked open the door. We had swinging doors. He kicked, oh, he said, oh, Oklahoma, and the crowd went wild. The balcony was full of people that I'd, I'd put up there, <laughs> and they stood and cheered and they sang, and the legislators stood and cheered, and then I turned and said, Mr. Speaker, I moved passage of this bill making Oklahoma the state song. 
And that's how it passed. Governor Johnston Murray, governor of Oklahoma, signed the bill with a long pinpointed pen, dipped it in ink and signed the bill, making it the state song. Then he took the pen and handed it to me. And I have it right here by my side, 70 years later. I still have that pen. Coincidentally, that very day, McAllister High School was having its annual concert. So I took the pen, I got in my car, I drove to McAllister, 120 miles. I arrived at the Masonic Temple where the concert was, no rehearsal. They had been playing several songs before I got there. So at the end of the show, they introduced me. I took that pen out and conducted for the first time after the governor had signed the bill, I conducted the state song to be played by my high school orchestra and, sing, and it was sung by the chorus and the crowd stood and cheered. And it's amazing that to this day, I can just reach in and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to get the same pen 70 years later. Thank you.